Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. It is Saturday, January 8th today and I'm off from work and I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better from this like cold I have. I tested negative for COVID twice. I got tested twice just to make sure over two days I got tested and I was negative both times. So I think it must've just been a weird cold. I'm still not feeling a hundred percent, but I do need to go grocery shopping today. And while I'm out, I'm thinking I might stop at um, like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, etc because I want to see if they have any Valentine's Day stuff out now because I love decorating for Valentine's Day, you guys. Like, absolutely love it. So I would really like to do that this year if I can find some good stuff. I have, like, throw pillows and stuff left over from last year, but not, like, any, like, actual decor. So um, I'm going to see if I can do that because I do need to go grocery shopping anyway. And like I said, I did test negative. I wear a mask anyway when I go out around here. Um, we've been in a mask mandate since like August. Um, so I feel like safe doing so, especially because I'm feeling better today. Um, I did already make a coffee in my little iced coffee Keurig. I just threw it in the fridge for a second because I wasn't quite ready for it. Um, so I'm gonna add ice in my creamer and everything. I have these gnarly pimples on my chin from the masks, which makes me very sad. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat some breakfast and then head over to Home Goods, TJ Maxx. I might go over to Hobby Lobby too. I don't know. I don't want to like push it too much, you know? <laughs> um, but I think what I'm going to do, see the problem is like the Target that I like to go grocery shopping at isn't by the Home Goods and the TJ Maxx. I don't know, maybe I'll go to the Home Goods and the TJ Maxx first because they're further away and then kind of loop back closer to here. I don't know. I, I'm already been rambling for two minutes. Let's just get into the day. I'm in the car heading <laughs> out to Home Goods and TJ Maxx. I don't know if you can also see my breath, but it is 27 degrees here today, which is the coldest it's been since I've lived here. Obviously this is only my first winter here, but it's been like warm for winter. Like I actually had to pull out like my big <laughs> puffer coat today. Um, but I'm gonna head out to Home Goods and TJ Maxx. I don't know if I said what I'm looking for. I'm not really looking for anything specific. I just kind of want to see what um, like Valentine's Day stuff they have. Um, Cause I'd like to decorate for Valentine's Day just for like something fun to decorate for. Um, but we'll see um, what I can find. And then I'm gonna stop at a grocery store and I made a grocery list for myself uh, for what I need for the week. Um, I think I also said I'm getting a HelloFresh box this week. I honestly can't remember, but I am getting a HelloFresh box on Monday. So I don't need stuff for like dinners. I mostly just need stuff for like breakfast and lunch and just some like necessities that I've run out of. So as I'm waiting for my car to warm up, I am going to head over there. And of course I will do a haul for you guys with whatever I get. Um, I think I'm gonna go to the one that I went to last time that I had a good, had a lot, <laughs> had a lot of good luck in. Um, the ones where they're right next to each other. So I can kind of see what I can find there. And I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. TJ Maxx was a flop, but Home Goods had some good stuff. I got a replacement for my soap dispenser in the kitchen, which like the part for the sponge got moldy, like, cause it didn't drain like it was supposed to. So I'm just replacing the whole thing. And so I had to buy a new one of those, but I was looking for the one that matched the rest of my soap stuff. And then I found soap dispensers for like Valentine's Day and, ki and like kitchen towels and stuff. So that's good, but not a ton of like Valentine's Day decor, but I was able to get soap dispensers, which I always like to have like at least soap dispensers for all the holidays and stuff. Cause I think that's fun. Um, so I at least have that. I'm heading down to Target now cause there is a Target in the shopping center too. 
Um, so I'm just gonna do Target, look for decor there, and hopefully this is a Target with a grocery store, like this is a super Target, and then I can just get my groceries here and be done, because I'm starting to kind of like get tired and like feel like I'm pushing myself today, and I don't wanna like push myself so hard today that I can't do anything the next, well I guess just one more day before I go back to work. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna head to Target, Hopefully I can get groceries there. If not, I will head to a different grocery store on my way home. So, and then of course I will do a haul of everything that I got today. Target was successful in the sense that I got some dollar spot stuff and I got some candy. So I kind of got what I wanted from there in terms of Valentine's Day stuff. However, it was not a super Target. So I will have to go to the Harris Teeter by my house. That is a-okay. Um, I have seen all over Instagram that um, Hobby Lobby has some really good Valentine's Day stuff, and I try not to shop at Hobby Lobby, but I think I might just peek and see what they have while it's Saturday at least and they're open because they won't be open tomorrow. I can always go to the grocery store tomorrow, so let's just take a peek at I was able to find two things at Hobby Lobby that I liked and I felt like for just two things, it's not a super big deal. Um, and so I just grabbed those and then I went to the Home Goods that's near um, the Hobby Lobby. That's my usual Home Goods, if you will. Um, and I found um, some other stuff that I'm really excited about. So I feel like I'm like, good on Valentine's Day stuff for now at least like I got a really good starting point and I got kind of everything that I was specifically looking for at least so that's good and then now I'm going to head back towards home to go to the grocery store that's right across the street well it's not right across the street but it's like five minutes down the road from my apartment so I'm gonna go there I also need to get gas today's gonna be an expensive day but I just like really needed this today. I've just been like in a weird funk, just like very overwhelmed and very anxious and just, and then I started to not feel good physically. And now that I'm feeling better, I just like, I'm having a lot of fun today, like going out and shopping at like all my favorite places and just like getting out of the house for a little bit feels nice. Cause I haven't been out of the house like this in quite a while. Um, between just like working so much and then being on night shift right after I did all those extra shifts and just like not I just haven't had like time out so I am happy that I'm having a little shopping day today even though my bank account isn't super happy about it but I'm gonna head over to the grocery store stop and get gas maybe stop at Panera as well and I will check in with you guys probably at this point when I just get home because then I will um just show you guys a big haul of everything that I got. I'm quickly gonna do all the groceries, then I'm gonna quickly take Nala out and then I'll come back for the rest. You probably won't even notice a difference, but I have some frozen stuff and refrigerated stuff that I wanna make sure gets put away first. So let's jump into the first bag from Harris Teeter that I have here. I forgot my reusable bags. Please don't come for me. <laughs> um, I got two of these vanilla Coke with coffees. They're just really good. And like I drink Celsius a lot of the time if I need like a boost during work, but something about these, I've just been craving them recently. And they just happened to be on sale, these four packs as two for 12. So it was a good deal because usually they're like 250 each. Um, so I got eight of them for $12. So those will go in the fridge and I'll take them for work this week or whatever. Um, we'll kind of play it by ear. I got broccoli. I got those little mini sweet peppers. I got some strawberries, some bananas. And then I got this a couple of weeks ago, maybe even a month or two ago and really liked it. Um, but it's this like collection of smoked salmons. Um, so there's traditional cracked pepper and then Cajun spice. And I loved these with like sushi rice and veggies on top and like wasabi and stuff. So I got another pack of those. And then I got half a dozen eggs. And then I got half a loaf of this three cheese semolina bread. 
I know, sounded really good. I got some plain bagel crisps because I have um, that sweet potato hummus and spicy hummus in my fridge and I keep forgetting to eat it. So I thought maybe if I buy new chips for it, I'll like actually eat it. Um, then I got some deli turkey and deli cheese. Again, I thought it could be fun to do like wraps with the sweet potato hummus and like some turkey and cheese and something. And then I got three frozen things just because I'm running a little low on like frozen meals. I got two of these bird's eye garden plant-based chicken meatless Alfredo chickens. I got two of them because it was two for something and I like these. They're really easy. You just throw them all in a pot with some water. And then I just got this Annie's cheddar shells and broccoli. Um, it has a quarter cup of vegetables per serving and these are really easy just to throw in the microwave after work. And sometimes even with my best intentions of meal prepping, I just don't want to eat what I meal prepped. So these three things are just good to have in the freezer for quick and easy meals after work or just quick and easy meals anyway, honestly. Um, and then the last thing I got from Harris Teeter was a case of this watermelon Mountain Dew because it just sounded really good. Um, and I just like to every once in a while get something like fun like that to drink. So let's put all this away. I'm gonna go take Nala out and then we'll be back to do Target, Hobby Lobby and Home Goods. One last thing I forgot to mention from Harris Teeter is I got the um, M&Ms in the Cupids mix just cause they're pink, white and red and have like fun little things on them. But I just got two bags of those cause they were two for seven at Harris Teeter. So I did get those from Harris Teeter. And then from Target, I did actually get some mini cans of ginger ale. I just always like to have ginger ale on hand. I have a very sensitive stomach in the sense that like, when I get super anxious, I get super nauseous. And sometimes just having ginger ale just helps, even if it's like a placebo thing to like help settle my stomach. I feel like it settles my stomach. So I like to just have them and I just buy the little mini cans because they're super easy to fit in the fridge. Let's start with Hobby Lobby since I only got two things. It got just this little XOXO sign in pink. It does kind of look like Ray Dunn esque with the font but i just thought the sheet of pink was so pretty and just this whole thing was super cute um and i do pinks in my rooms anyway or in my bedroom anyway um so i just loved that i don't know if i'll do it in my room or out here in the living room but i just thought it could be fun and then i found these like neon pink led string lights you just need two batteries and i believe it has like a timer setting can't, it's hard to tell, but if it's like my other one, it has a little timer setting. Even if it doesn't, I just thought these were kind of cute since I have like all the spots like left, like all the little hooks left on my walls and everything. I thought that I could hang that somewhere even if I don't like have the lights on a timer. I'm also just gonna include the one item I got previously to today since I'm just including everything in this haul. I got this from like TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something, but it's one of these little like book things that just says Valentine's Day kisses and the little tag says love. And I just thought it was so cute. I feel like I'm having deja vu and that I already showed this to you guys, but whatever, since I'm doing my whole Valentine's Day decor haul, wanted to make sure I included that for you. Next up from Target, I got two of these glass jars from the Dollar Spot or Bullseye's Playground or whatever you want to call it. They were $5 each. This one just says Candy Hearts and this one just has three hearts on it. I feel like this one I could use like any time of year, honestly, but I just loved these and thought they were so cute and they're huge. So I can fill them with something or I can just use them as decor pieces. And I thought that that would just like take up a lot of space and just like look cute. Like even if I put them like on my little bookshelf here, I don't know, I'm excited about it. Um, and then I did get a whole bunch of candy um, either to stock the um, jars with or just whatever. I love Valentine's Day candy. I love candy in general, who am I kidding? Um, so I got the lint, the lint Lindor strawberries and cream white chocolate truffles. These are a must have every year. I always get a bag of these. I had to get a bag of the pink Reese's hearts as well as a bag of the regular Reese's hearts because Reese's that are shaped are always, like they always taste better. And then I also got a bag of the raspberry Kit Kats. 
I've never seen these before, but they sounded really good. And again, they're pink. And then I love jelly beans. So I contained myself to get one bag of the Starburst ones and one bag of the Jolly Ranchers ones for now. Um, but they're heart-shaped and they're so fun. Generally, I like Starburst jelly beans the best, but I do always love a good Jolly Rancher jelly beans. So um, it's jelly bean season and I'm very excited about it. I can't wait for like Easter candy to come out because that's when all the jelly beans come out. I love jelly beans, you guys. Um, and then I did get two things of sprinkles from Wilton. I just got these like more pastel, like pinks and purples. And then I got pinks and reds. And there's like hearts and just like all sorts of different like fun things in here. You guys know I like to make chocolate chip cookies and put the fun holiday sprinkles in them. But I got this little pink ceramic dish. This was only $3 and it's pretty deep. Like I could definitely fill this up um, with something fun. And then I also got one of the little dishes that's shaped like a pair of lips for $3. I thought that was just fun as well. And then I did get three of these because they had three colors. So let me unwrap all of them. But I got all three of these little heart candles and these were each $3 as well. This one just says, you're my sweetheart, but these are obviously the little things this um they don't have like scent names on them but i just thought they were fun and if i want to burn them i can and i can burn them all the way down and use it as like a trinket dish again or i could just have them as decor because they were only three dollars um this one does have a scent it says freesia and lily i mean they all kind of smell the same to me to be totally honest but i wanted to get one of each color this one says sunburst yuzu i don't know um, they all kind of smell the same to me, like I said, but um, even just to like lay them out in a pattern like this or something, I thought could be really cute. I don't know. I just thought they were fun. They were $3. If I do end up burning them and melt them all the way down, like I said, I could use them as like trinket dishes for next year or whatever. I don't know. Just thought that it could be fun decor. First up, some non-Valentine's Day stuff for a second. I got this Friends thousand piece puzzle. You guys, I'm so excited. I love puzzles, A. And B, this is like all scenes from different like episodes and um, they've got like questions on it from like, it's like, which season is this? Why are Joey, Ross and Chandler looking shocked in this scene? And it's just like, cool. Like, it's just kind of fun. Um, and I'm assuming the answers are in here somewhere, but it was only $8. So I thought this could be fun to like do on my coffee table or something as like a little activity for myself when I'm home. Then I did get another extra large stasher bag. I love when I can find these at TJ Maxx because they're always just a little bit cheaper and I love them. They're dishwasher safe, they're microwave safe, they're freezer safe. You can really put it, like you can put it in the oven. You can put it everywhere. It's just, I love these like really massive ones. This is, says half gallon, but I feel like this has got to be gallon size. Um, but anytime I find them, I don't really care what color they are. I just pick one up. So this is the color and size they had today. So I grabbed one of those. And then I did grab some hand towels slash dish towels. I'm thinking these will go out in the kitchen because they're pink, red, and purple. So it kind of incorporates all the colors. Whereas like I have a more concrete plan for the bathroom, which is like, sounds ridiculous, but whatever. Um, so anyway, these are just really cute. Um, it just says, I love you in like a whole bunch of different languages, which I just thought was so fun. And I just think it's really pretty. These feel like good, like heavy duty towels. And it was a two pack for $7. So you really can't beat it. Like at Hobby Lobby, for example, there were individual towels for $7. And I just think that that's ridiculous for towels. Um, so I grabbed these, but this next thing that I got is just this really cute pink ceramic jar with all these pink and white hearts and this lid. And this is definitely like airtight. So I could definitely put like food or something in here. I could put candy in here. I could put coffee pods in here and put this over on my little coffee thing, which is I think what I'm going for with this one maybe. Um, we'll kind of see what I end up doing with it. I would say the overall theme of today's home goods hauls are soap dispensers um, because I got five total soap dispensers today, I think. I got two of these Ray Dunn ones. 
I am not a Ray Dunn girl. I don't typically like anything Ray Dunn, to be honest with you. But I just loved this really, really pretty light baby pink color. And I liked that one side said soap, but the other side said it just has a plain heart. You know, both of them are exactly the same. So I can turn one one way. I can turn one the other way and have it not be like a little much. Um, and I found a matching set, which I love because I can either put both of these in the bathroom, on the bathroom sinks, or I can put them both out here on the kitchen sink and do one for hand soap and one for dish soap. Like there's lots of opportunities when you can find a matching set. And I had a hard time finding a matching set for um, like the holiday season, like winter, um, which is why I had to get like a non-matching set. Like I have two that match and then one like non-matching one, which I don't like love for me. I can never get these damn stickers off. If you guys know how to get the stickers off, let me know. I say we petition for all TJ Maxx Home Goods stickers to be on the bottoms of things. So they're out of so they're out of my way. So basically what happened is I had found these. I had found the set of these together at the first Home Goods. Loved them, bought them, you know, whatever. And I had only found one of these at the first home goods these are just these really pretty glass soap pumps um with just x's and o's all over them i just thought this was so pretty and i'd only found one of these so i was like okay this will be the one out in the kitchen and i'll put these in the bathroom you know whatever and then when i had gotten to the second home goods i found a second one of these so now i have four soap dispensers and only three sinks <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna do is put these in the bathroom and do a more like red and pink theme in the bathroom and then do these out in the kitchen and could just kind of turn one one way and turn one the other way and do one with dish soap and one with hand soap. I found a replacement for the dish soap dispenser. If you guys aren't familiar, in my bathroom, I have this exact soap dispenser but with a black handle. And I kept everything like black and marble in there because of the black countertops. I have black countertops out here too, but all of the, like the sink is stainless steel, the faucet is stainless steel. So I liked the stainless steel better for out here, which is perfect because I found the exact same soap dispenser, but um, with just the silver top. So this will replace the dish soap dispenser for like the off season times, which is perfect because now everything will be cohesive and like match. And I love that. Um, so anyway, I got five soap dispensers today, but they all have a purpose and they will all get used for Valentine's day or for just like regular times. And then I have a couple more things that I got. So basically I think these heart candles are gonna be like the pumpkin candles for me. And every time I see a candle shaped like a heart, I'm gonna get it. But in all seriousness, this one sell smells so freaking good. It's called sugared citrus and it's a soy blend candle and the outside is just so pretty and pink and it was $9.99 so I was like sold we're getting it I have no idea what brand it is it doesn't have a brand on it but I just think like I just think these are so pretty and so fun and like an easy way to be like festive without like too too much um and again I could use this literally all year round as a decor piece in my bedroom if I wanted to. Then I also found this sign in the checkout line and it says, you can't buy love, but you can rescue it. And I thought this was so cute. And again, something that doesn't need to just be a Valentine's Day thing, even though it has hearts and stuff over it and like talks about love, but you know, my rescue dog will be a rescue dog even when it's not Valentine's Day. Um, so I just thought this was cute and like very easy to like fit in um, to my decor somewhere at any time of the year, especially because it's got like gray, writing and stuff and generally my apartment is like blues and grays outside of the holidays and outside of like you know me decorating it for fun things um so you know even though it's going to be a lot of pink and everything right now this will definitely fit any time of year so I thought this was super super cute and it was only $4.99 so of course I had to get it so I did get another pack of hand towels and dish towels because I saw these and how they're red and black and some plain red ones so um, I thought these could go good in the bathroom 
where I'm gonna do these soap dispensers. So, and plus then I have plain red ones I can use out here that are more like dish towel material and these are more hand towel material. So, I don't know, but there is four of them for $9.99. So it was a good deal regardless. And I just think these are so sleek and so pretty and they do match pretty well with these. So at least I have somewhat of a theme kind of going on somewhere, I don't even know. Um, and then the last thing that I got if you've been following along with my holiday decor and like fall decor things, I always like to get little like wooden spatulas and like keep them in my little container that's out just for like a little pop in the kitchen. And so I found these Disney ones with Minnie and Mickey. So it's a big one and a little one, which I love these little mini spatulas. They're so underrated. Um, I mean, rubber spatulas in general are the best kitchen tool, but these little ones, so good. Um, so they're just so cute and it just this one is just them with a bunch of hearts and then this other one says together forever and I just thought these were cute they had some other ones that were like dual sets but none of them were as cute as this one um, and I will be getting ready to put them in my kitchen really soon so I'm gonna put all this away and kind of get all this organized for when I do decorate because this is not going to stay here on the island until then and I'm gonna put all this stuff in the recycling and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, time to update the budget sheet. All right, so I just filmed another Adore Me haul. You will probably have seen the haul before this video goes up, but I am working with them again this month. So I just filmed that haul so I can submit it to them to upload to YouTube hopefully this week. Um, so yeah, everything has been filmed. I have to go put it all away now, which is the worst part. Um, but it is almost five o'clock right now, actually. So I've been watching some YouTube and everything. Obviously I put it on pause to film the video, but I've just been kind of like chilling and relaxing. I think maybe what I'll do is put some YouTube back on and maybe start my puzzle tonight and just kind of relax although I also want to finish my book that I've been reading. I've been reading a book on my kindle that I have on loan from the library here and I only have two more days on my loan. I'm like 75 to 80 percent of the way done with it though so I should be able to finish it but I kind of want to just like power through the end so I don't have to return it back to the library before I'm finished. I know you can like put your kindle on like airplane mode and whatever to keep it for longer but I'm so close to being done with it anyway I might as well just finish it and return it um but yeah that's kind of the update for now I will check in with you guys when I decide what to make for dinner because I'm so like thrown off on my schedule from being on night shift and then literally sleeping 16 hours yesterday that I haven't been eating at like normal times <laughs> so we'll kind of see what I end up doing for dinner tonight when I figure out that I'm hungry because Usually I start to get hungry around now for dinner, but I am not even thinking about food right now. So it seems like it's gonna be a late dinner tonight. It is the next day. I am editing this vlog and realized, A, I never finished it off, and B, the last couple clips I filmed were just like super rambly and didn't really make any sense. And it's like six, seven minutes of footage that just like I can easily combine into like maybe two minutes by re-explaining it today. Basically, what happened last night is when Nala and I got done playing in the dog park, I went to go wipe down her paws and realized the whole like back of her paw was like really raw and scratched up. So I messaged with a vet on Chewy, which you can do for free if you do their auto ship, fun fact. And she suggested I go like get some like antiseptic spray to spray on the back of her paw to help like keep it clean and prevent it from like getting worse. So... I had to go to like three different pet stores to find what I was looking for and I was like very overwhelmed and very stressed because it was seven o'clock at night and like I was just worried that I wasn't going to be able to find it and she was hurt and whatever so long story short I was able to find some spray for her paw I got a crumble cookie on the way because it was right next door and I just came home and like didn't do anything else for the rest of the night except finish my book so um, I never ended up ending the vlog, but this will be the end of this very chaotic all over the place vlog. Although what else is new, honestly, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.